Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Chris, and today I'm going to do something just a little bit different because honestly, I just want to talk to you guys. As you can see, I have no makeup on. I mean, I got my contacts on because I'm trying to get ready for the uh, other video. This whole discl declutter, declutter, what was I going to say? Declutter video. <laughs> I want to get ready for that one. So before I do that, I want to just sit down and talk to you guys about this insane collection coming out from Glamlight. You guys know how much I love Glamlight. If you are new here, just know Glamlight is one of my favorite brands and I just, I'm losing my mind over their new happy hour collection that is dropping tomorrow at 7 a.m. PST, which is 10 a.m. EST. Now, of course, I live on the East Coast, so I'm kind of happy that I don't have to wake up at the crack of dawn to get this collection because I'm just not a morning person. So let's go ahead and just talk about everything coming out, the prices, and whether or not we really need it or if it's just a want. Let's just talk. In this collection, we have four palettes that come in an acrylic literal bottle this company is so innovative i love what they're doing i love where they're going and i also love the fact that the actual palette is not shaped like the wine bottle so when you open up the actual acrylic case the palette itself is a rectangular shape now i'll be honest with you guys i never really cared about the shape i didn't mind the funky shapes but as i went through this whole declutter and like tried to stack my palettes i was just like oh my god like it really is hard to store these palettes are shaped, you know, kind of funky. And although I really do love palettes like that, I think it just, it looks nice. I like unique stuff like that. It is a pain in the butt to store. It is, 100%. And I've kind of finally come to terms to that. Now, I really do love the fact that you have the palette in there that is a regular rectangular shape palette, so it's great for storage, which is a huge plus for me. So we have four palettes coming out, five lippies, and two pressed highlighters. The four palettes are the Dirty Martini palette, which is a monochromatic, all green kind of vibe palette. We have some browns, but it's basically a green palette we have the wine palette which of course is purple i love purple so i almost literally lost my mind when i saw this then we have the margarita palette which is honestly a super fun kind of summery vibe palette in my opinion it has fun colors very tropical kind of feel lastly we have the chocolate martini palette which honestly like i know it's just browns and stuff but I, I kind of love the way it looks. All honesty, you guys, there's plenty of brown neutral palettes and things like that. But this is, at this point in the game, I feel like in terms of just makeup and palettes, there are a lot of palettes that are going to look like each other, a lot of kind of repeats. But you're, at this point, I feel like you're kind of buying from a brand. You're buying their product. You're buying their formula. I like glam like formula i've seen so many monochromatic palettes come out already and i'm like eh, okay yeah sure but this is glam light and i'm like yeah i want that i need that I gotta have that i don't know let me know your thoughts down below actually let me know right now which palette that you just saw is your favorite which ones you're leaning towards and which ones you're like eh, next between all four of these palettes like in all honesty I'm like afraid to say this because it's probably going to be shocking for some of you guys. I actually want the green one. I want Dirty Martini. And I love purple. You guys know I love purple. So hey, let me explain. The purple one is really nice and all that. But I've just lately been so drawn to green. I think green is such a beautiful color. And I mean, I'm wearing it right now, actually. I didn't even do that on purpose. I swear I did it. But I, when I look at this palette, I'm like... Yeah, that green one and even the chocolate martini one, like, <sighs> the one palette that I'm like, okay, I think I could live without that, like, I don't think I need it, need it, is actually the margarita palette. I was just like, okay, it's nice, it's a pop of colors, tropicals, it's just because I have so many palettes, as you can see, I'm like, okay, I have something like that, I think, at least, in my collection, I got a lot of crap. Yeah, I probably do have an all pearl palette, too, and a lot of browns, but because this is, again, glam light, I'm like, all purple of glam light? Yeah, I need that. All green of glam light? Yeah, I need that. But the reason why I really like the chocolate martini one is because, yes, it's all browns, it's neutrals, so you got some dark browns, warm tone, and of course, you have your white. I just feel like... This is probably the palette I use every day because this is an everyday wear kind of palette. Now, of course, on this channel, you guys seem to do funky looks with all these colors, but you, I don't ever really go outside shopping with that eye look. I 
If I go out, I literally take my neutral palette, I put something on, I put liner, maybe a lash, and I go out. So in my head, I'm like, chocolate martini is probably one of the best ones out of all these fours to get because those are the colors that I normally use every day. So I think when you guys go into this buy, if you plan on buying anything from this collection, you should ask yourself that, like, what are you probably gonna use every day? And I feel like most of us would answer chocolate martini. So each palette costs $35. This is Glam Light we're talking about. They bring amazing packaging, great formula. So at that price, I think it's a um, very, very, very fair price. So we have $35 for each palette and a bundle. If you get all four, it's $129. Now, if you do 35 times four, it's $140. So it is less of a price. I do have a discount code, by the way. It is Chrismo. It'll save you 15% at checkout. So let's just do the math right now. Wow. It takes off almost $20. It's going to take off $19.35. Comes out to $109.75. So that's a huge save. You do not, by the way, have to use my discount code. If you want to spend $129, go for it. I just personally love to save money. I mean, whatever you guys, whenever you guys use a code that I, of course, have, it goes towards this channel. It just goes right back in. Of course, I don't make tons of money from it, but any little bit helps. So I'm definitely going to be using my own code for this because I want to save some coin. All right, so those were the palettes. Let's move on to the highlighters. Now, honestly, you guys I need to do a declutter video for the highlighters because I have a crap load of highlighters, too. I don't necessarily need this, but once again, I just want it. Like, this is just one of the things that... I want. I also want to test it out. I want to see how it is. That's kind of like what I do, right? I test it out. I let you guys know how it is. And then I tell you guys whether it's worth it or not. Um, so for me, I'm like, okay, they're $14 each, by the way. $14 each. And that's before a discount is, is applied, by the way. And the two of them are Mimosa and Pina Colada. Pina Colada looks like it's a lighter highlighter. And Mimosa looks like it's for a, for a deeper skin tones. Mimosa honestly looks really pretty. But I have a feeling Pina Colada is probably going to be more towards my skin tone i feel like if you were trying to pick which one you wanted i mean it depends on the type of glow you're looking for again pink color looks more like a lighter kind of white uh glow and then mimosa is more of a golden one i can't choose between those two to be honest i i think I want pina colada more than mimosa, but I'm probably going to get both. <laughs> okay, the last things are the five lippies that are shaped like wine bottles. Now, I'm going to be honest, you guys. This is not, like, revolutionary, this particular item, because I've seen, like, lippies shaped as wine bottles before. Back in Shop Hush days, I believe there was... um a brand, I can't remember, I think it was Oakland, I can't remember the brand, honestly, that had lippies in a wine bottle. I think those were lip, lip tints, but again, the bottle itself, the idea of having a lippy in a bottle is not brand new for me, at least. I know other brands that have done it, but the fact that Glamline doing it in this collection, I'm just like, yes, I'm living for it. So out of the five, we have three lip glosses and two lipsticks. We have vodka, Irish cream, whiskey, rum, and peanut nor oh my god i'm just gonna i have a hard time pronouncing things in case you're new here and i i don't have any shame in saying that i embrace it but um anyway rock is a transparent one that just has high shine with a pearl finish irish cream is a nude gloss which is probably the one i probably use the most whiskey which is a warm terracotta high shine gloss and then we have brown which is a creamy nude lipstick and then the one that i can't pronounce it's a cool tone berry lipstick that whole set costs 32 dollars if you use my code it's 27 dollars and 20 cents so honestly Honestly, I, I want that. I do love lippies and stuff like that. And I do like the Glam Light lippies. I actually did a video on like a bunch of their lippies back when I think they first launched lippies because I was just like, oh my God, I really did love the formula and I still do. So I do want to get this one as well. I'm really excited about that too. Now, from what I understand, I believe they're going to have like an entire bundle price for everything coming out they just announced they're gonna have a platinum package which includes all four palettes the highlighters and the lip set which is 179 and then the vip diamond package is basically the entire plat platinum package except it's going to include a vip cocktails shaker it's really cool so that's what that is as soon as i know i'll put it in the pinned comments so that you guys know as well in case you're like me you're like i can't choose i hope you guys have a great night let me know of course all your thoughts and comments down below and i'll catch you guys in the comment section bye